Hey, happy Sunday afternoon. Well, at least I hope it's happy for you. Um, kind of getting kind of late. Um, been doing more work outside and um, took a shower. So maybe I need a shave. Yeah, probably need a shave. Um, just took a shower. And um, you know what? I did a video yesterday where I uh, did a benchmark test. And I, I kind of said that, um, well, this is what I said. Summary. I don't like this stuff. I really don't. Um, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. The Nivea anti-irritation gel, in my opinion, is highly superior. So I feel a little bad um, about saying that, uh, you know, everybody loves Parasso. Well, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people love Parasso. And it's, you know, there's a lot of goodwill towards the brand. And I, I personally didn't really want Parasso to lose. Um, and then uh, as I, I was thinking about the video and it's like, you know what, maybe I didn't use, use it the way it was intended to be used. Like when I use it, when I've used it in the past, I used it with the pre-shave. Now that doesn't really go with the, the intent of these, this benchmarking that I'm doing. I, I wanted to, I don't know if I've said it anywhere, but I wanted to find stuff that didn't require a separate pre-shave, but maybe this Prorosso foam really needs it. Um, Anyway, I'm going to redo the test, but this is actually going to be a shootout, and I'm going to do uh, a shave, and it's one day of growth. So on the right side, which is my dominant side, uh, I'm going to put on pre the Parasso White pre-shave. Then I'm going to load up the left side with um, the Nivea gel, and then I'm going to apply the Parasso foam on the right side and immediately start shaving. I figure that's probably gives Parasso the biggest advantage. And then once, and then I'm going to shut I'm going to rinse really well between, you know, switching sides. And then when I get finished the first pass, I'm going to decide which one is the winner. Um, and if it's a tie, um, then I will use the, I will use Parasso on the second pass. Um, and the only way, um, the only way I would use Nivea on the second pass for the whole face is if Parasso clearly loses. Um, so this is going to also reuse the same razor for the first pass, the same razor as yesterday. It's the Mercury 34C. It's got the same Astra Superior Platinum blade in it. So this is a second use blade, which is kind of good for this because I tend to prefer these blades on the second use. Um, the second pass is going to use my, I don't know if it's Yaki or Yachi. I've heard it a couple different ways. Um, melon, a double open comb head on the Mercury 15C handle. and I have put a fresh Lord Platinum blade in here because that is kind of one of my favorite blades. So it's a brand new Lord Platinum blade in this one. And that's going to be used for the second pass. Okay, so now I'm going to get started. Um, so first things first, I wet the right side of my face and neck first. I'm going to get the Parasso pre-shave. I really like this stuff, right? This. Parasso White pre-shave. It's got the, it's got a really nice scent, and I'm not going to be stingy with it, right? And, and I'm putting this on first, so it has time to do its work. Hopefully, soften the beard a bit. Maybe, maybe a bit more. All right, only on this side. Uh, all right, well, I won't hold this against it. I'm already loading. I'm already, I'm already stacking the deck in, in Parasso's favor a little bit, so a little spillage to the other side isn't going to matter. All right. I put that, I put this towel out to the side to, so I can set things down on it to minimize the noise, and then I just went ahead and banged it on the counter. Okay, now this side is going to get the uh, Nivea foam, I'm sorry, the Nivea gel, right? Oop. I just got out of the shower, and this is one day of growth, or a little over one day. That's probably enough. Now, I can barely do anything with my left hand, so I'm really st stacking the deck against the, the Nivea here. I'm not going to shave the left side with my left hand, though. That would just be... um. 
uh, major foolishness. I, I don't want to have to call first responders to get an ambulance here to deal with a, well, the mess that would surely ensue. All right, that's plenty. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna rinse his hand. So how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Did you get a chance to see um, Kevy of Kevy Shaves to uh, do his uh, live shave today? I, I didn't get to see that. Um, I was too busy working outside. I would have prioritized it, but my wife's priorities differ from mine, and um, I guess she kind of wins. Um, okay, so Parasso into this side, onto on top of the pre-shave. I really do like the way this foam feels, right? It's it's quite pillowy. I guess there's going to be a spot in the middle where they where they merge, but that's fine. Also, by putting the, the uh, Nivea on first, I'm giving it more chance to dry out. Okay, that's good enough. All right, now I'm gonna shave the Parasso side first. Okay, so here we go. That feels so much better than yesterday. It's not even funny. So the pre-shave makes a huge difference. It's almost like the pre-shave, and there's still some slickness there. It's almost like the Parasso pre-shave is designed to give you the slickness and the foam is designed to give you like the cushion and protection. I, I don't understand why they do that. Okay. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do up here as well. So this actually feels really good. Let me rest it off. I really do like the Parasso, the way it smells. The post-shave feel is really good. And yesterday, even without the pre-shave, it did give me a really good, um, you know, it did give me a, a good close shave. Okay, um, I'm gonna make sure that's rinsed out really well. And I'm gonna switch over to the Nivea side. Let's see how this feels. There's no pre-shave on here, and this has been sitting here on my face for a while. It actually feels pretty good. Um, all right, this is not bad at all, right? Um, it does feel a little dry, but the shave still doesn't feel bad. Okay, so, you know what? I think the, um, I think that was kind of a toss up, really. Either one would, like I, I'm, I wasn't able to distinguish enough of the difference to, to, to say one clearly won that. Um, 
when we really think about it, because I sit, you know what? They both felt good. They shaved about equally well. They feel about the same right now. Purasso wins. Um, just a little bit of that rewetting, I get more slickness here than I do on the Nivea side. So, for the purposes of this test, Purasso wins and gets to do the second pass. So now I'm going to do a quick rinse of the whole face, just because they were they were they were different, right? In terms of shave quality, the actual results, there was not a big difference. No, not enough to not enough to, to call it. But if you were doing this as your morning shave, um, and you weren't doing a full rinse there, that remaining um, slickness on the Parasso side that would be the deciding factor um, for me. Now, I don't know if most people apply the pre-shave on the second pass, or again, or not. There was still some slickness there, which is completely unlike yesterday. There was no slickness with this Parasso foam yesterday. And to be honest, one reason I really wanted Parasso to, to, to do well yesterday is that I think I like the ingredients in the Parasso better. Like, I feel better about, you know, how that will be for my skin. Like, I think it's got the oatmeal extract, green tea extract. Oh, good God. That toilet was open. I hope that none of the angles here actually got you, uh, and there was, <clears throat> let's just say they were, they were tread marks. <laughs> I hope I did not get down to where you could see any of that. So I'm not considering this to be a benchmark test win for the Parasso because it doesn't meet one of the criteria I have, which is I want something that doesn't require pre-shave. So in terms of my benchmark comparisons, right, Nivea still wins hands down because without a pre-shave, it does an excellent job. All right, so ready to go with the Parasso, full Parasso this side, and now I'm gonna use this guy, the Yachi or Yaki melon head with the fresh Lord Platinum blade. Okay, so this is against the green. This is against the green. This feels really good. All right, now, so the first time around, I just went up like that. Now I'm going to go kind of down, but at an angle. I do this a little differently every time. I can't decide which way works best for me. Well, I usually can't go. I usually can't go directly against the green here. Um, I am trying to do a better job of being very light. And um, this kind of head is supposed to be very good for buffing, but I don't want to do too much of that. So um, what did I say I was going to go up or down? I was going to go 
down and sort it in the middle. So this is kind of across and against the grain, right? Good Lord, it almost sounds like I'm stepping on Rice Krispies or frying, frying bacon. Good Lord. Okay. Um, let's just do this. Well, this head with this blade, just the audio feedback is just, it's, it's like it's like it's singing almost. Okay, now I'm going to um, go up here. Right, and then um, uh, I always forget what I wanna do. I, I do change it up a little bit too much sometimes. And this side, just do the whole thing straight up. I give myself a weeper down here. A couple of weepers. This actually still feels really good. I find the Lord blade to be very sharp, but smooth. I like them a lot. Yeah, I've given myself some weepers here. Um, oh, I totally forgot to do anything here. As I'm hearing the sounds, I'm thinking of a line from um, an Indiana Jones movie, the second one, um, the one that a lot of people don't like, but there's a little Asian kid in that movie. His name in the movie is Short Round, and at one point they're walking somewhere, and he says, it feels like I step on, <laughs> oh God, all right, this could get me in trouble, but I'm going to do the accent. It feels like I'm stepping on something. It feels like I'm stepping on fortune cookies. Well, that's what this sounded like, like I was walking on fortune cookies. I hope I don't get, get canceled now. But hey, I'm half Asian. Maybe I'm allowed to do that. Oh, yeah.
I'm not half Chinese now. And actually, I don't know where that actor, that kid was from. Or it could have been Thailand, Singapore, who knows? Oh wait, I didn't want to rinse that. Now it's time for the alien block. All right. So yesterday, I had a couple really bad stings in, um, or at least one, it was down here somewhere. I'm not feeling a really bad sting today, but it's a little bit more than tingling too. Now, I have heard other YouTubers, shaving YouTubers, refer to that as zingers. I think maybe that was Ken Surfs, I'm not sure. Do I overapply, Alan? I think maybe, maybe I do. I don't know. Okay, so that's um. This post shave here is not a reflection on Parasso. It's probably because of me switching to that to this thing that I'm still getting used to with a brand new Lord Platinum blade. But um, I think in terms of this challenge. This rematch, Parasso actually wins by a hair or a whisker. Um, but you got, for me, I absolutely say use the pre-shave, right? So this is not bad stuff if you use the pre-shave. So kind of changing my tune from yesterday. Okay, time to rinse off the album. Okay, this might be a mistake, but I'm going to finish off with Skin Bracer. See what happens. Whoops. God, that restrictor really doesn't restrict it much. I just bought this bottle. You know what? That wasn't bad. Not bad at all. All right, so how long did this movie, I mean, movie, well, shoot, it's almost getting up to movie territory. It's 26 freaking minutes. Um, or like, I'm trying to read that backwards. Maybe, maybe it's 23, 24. Um, I did have some uh, extra footage on the front that I restarted over. Uh, I'm hoping this comes out at about 20. Um, anyway, if you, if you stuck it out through the end here, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I've been doing with the most recent ones, the last three or so videos I've done, I've been putting chapter times in. So if you, you know, well, why am I telling you at this point? We're at the end of the video. Anyway, like I said before, Parasso actually can win slightly, you know, it's very close, but it can beat out the Nivea if you use the pre-shave. And for whoever, you know, it, the, the, the answer may be different for different people, right? And the way you shave and how often you shave. But um, yeah, I, I, I think um, this kind of redeems the Parasso in my eyes a bit anyway. So um, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoy what little time there is left in the weekend and that the coming week is good for you. Um, if you would, um, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you if you like what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Okay, bye. See you.